Hi there, I'd like to show you how to download and install first class email software on an Apple computer. What you're going to do to begin with is go to your web browser and write in the address bar, put in the first class address. So let me actually, I'll put the whole thing in there. And it's www.firstclass.com. Put that in, and you will see a link down toward the bottom for the first class client download. Go ahead and click on that. And here's where you're going to want to look and find the version. So what you'll see is there's Windows and Macintosh versions. If you're using OS 10, the latest, then you're going to want to pick the latest US English version, which is 10.009 as of this recording but uh, there may be a more recent one when you check it out. Just pick whichever one is most recent for you. And go ahead and click on that. And then it's going to start downloading, and it might take some time to download. So just be patient with it. This one's going to take about five minutes. Okay, we're a few seconds away from it finishing the download. I should mention that I'm downloading this using Safari. You can use Firefox or a different browser if you like. That really doesn't matter as far as that goes. Just know the way your browser saves things and know where they save things to. Uh, oftentimes they're going to save to the downloads folder in your home directory. Sometimes they're set to save to the desktop. So that's up to you where your browser chooses to save it. In this case, when Safari finishes in about five seconds, we're getting there. There we go. What it's going to do is it's going to open up the disk image. If this was Firefox, you'd need to double click to open up the disk image. But here we have the disk image opened up. And I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. And now I have a warning. Are you sure you want to open it? Yes, I want to open it. I'm doing this on Leopard, by the way. But it will work on Snow Leopard or Tiger as well. Now, what's happened is there's something underneath this, so don't let that fool you. I'm actually going to close this and hit continue. You can read the license, hit continue again, agree with the license. Good, I'm glad that came up. It shouldn't take too long to install. Would you like to add the first class client to your dock? Sure, I'm going to add that to my dock. And then it finishes up and I can quit. But I'm not done yet. What I have to do is actually run the first class software. What's very important here, you see where it says on my computer mail.watkinson.org? If you're installing this on a new computer, that isn't going to be the case. You're not going to see that there, and you have to have it there. So you want to click on the advanced to open this up, and where it says home.fc, change that to mail.watkinson.org, and then click on save. Then you should see mail.watkinson.org right there. You can click the flippy triangle again to turn that off. And now you're welcome to put your user ID and password in, make sure that it works. And that's everything you need to do in order to install first class on your Macintosh computer. Thank you very much for joining me for this tutorial. If you have any further questions or issues, by all means, email tech support or dial extension 555 from on campus. Thanks.